And we all know that ETOPS, E-T-O-P-S, stands for Engine Turning or Passenger Swimming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Captain SQ, where we're going to discuss on Airbus systems, emergency procedures, and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. A320 engine failure in cruise, control emergency, and steps to take. Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals. This video is merely a guide. Before we start, do destroy the like button, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Let's dive into the causes. Uh, an engine failure may result from mechanical failure, fuel starvation or contamination, or an engine flame out. As soon as an engine failure is recognized, do cancel the caution and the pilot flying will set maximum continuous thrust on both engines, thrust MCT, and disconnect the auto thrust via instinctive disconnect button. The speed is now controlled by the elevators and the thrust is fixed at MCT. Select green dot and turn off the airway at 90 degrees or towards an alternate. Consideration should be given to aircraft position relative to any relevant critical point. Select an engine out altitude. The FMGS computes an engine out maximum altitude at long range cruise speed and display it on the progress page. It assumes engine anti-ice is off. The crew can also determine the engine out ceiling from the performance E section of the QRH. The pilot monitoring will inform air traffic control, ATC, and perform ECAM actions when requested. When the speed reaches green dot, select open descent. Okay, let's dive in on the three speed strategies. The first one will be the obstacle strategy. Do select green dot speed in FCO, speed window, and pole. The obstacle strategy is used when flying over high ground or obstacle. If an engine failure occurs at any point on the route, the net flight path must clear the high ground or the obstacle on the drift down part by 2,000 feet and during the climb by 1,000 feet. Should a one engine inoperative net flight path does not allow the above clearance, then a point of no return should be established during flight planning. Should the engine fail before the point of no return, the PNR, the aircraft must turn back. If an engine failure occurs after the PNR, then the aircraft must drift down on course. Once clear of the high ground or obstacles, do revert back to the standard strategy, which we will discuss in the next slide. Standard strategy, select mark decimal 7, 8 or 300 knots in FCO speed window and pull. This ensures the aircraft is within the windmill engine relight envelope. Select long range cruise ceiling, LRC ceiling in FCU altitude window and pull. Descend to engine out altitude. Okay, let's dive into this fixed speed strategy and uh, it's normally used for ETOPS or EDTO operations and we all know that ETOPS, E-T-O-P-S stands for engine turning or passenger swimming. Just kidding. We will discuss ETOPS operations in another video. Okay guys, here's a question. If you do know what ETOPS stands for, please do comment in the section below. For now, the actions for fixed speed strategy will be to select mark decimal 7, 8 or 320 knots or mark decimal 80 or 350 knots in FCU speed window and pull. Level off. With the auto thrust disconnected, the thrust will remain at MCT. When pulling open descent, the target speed is controlled by the elevator. If vert speed becomes less than minus 500 feet per minute, do select the auto thrust on and vert speed minus 500 feet per minute. In all cases, once engine out cruise ceiling is reached, select auto thrust on. Let's dive into the ECAM actions. Engine mode selector, select ignition. Selection of continuous ignition confirms the immediate relight attempt made by the FedEx. Trust lever idle if no engine relight after 30 seconds, engine masters off. The 30 seconds countdown starts as soon as the engine fail is triggered. The crew must decide if the engine is damaged and needs to be secured or not damaged and a relight attempt can be made. Consider damage if high vibration prior to flame out, loud noise or explosion, repeated and uncontrollable engine stalls, and abnormal engine indications. If engine is damaged, fire push button push. This isolates the engine from fuel, hydraulic power, electrical power and bleed air and arms the squibs. 
The ECAM countdown allows N1 to decrease, reducing nasal ventilation and increasing the effect of the agent. Agent 1 Discharge TKS is set to TA as aircraft performance may not be capable of RA orders. Clear the engine fail, land as up in amber is advised to the crew to consider landing at the nearest suitable airport. Let us have a look at the system pages. Only one bleed system available which will affect the aircraft and TI's capability. Only one generator supplying the electrical network. Consider starting the APU. Fail engine hydraulic system is powered by the PTU. Let's move on to the status. The engine shutdown procedure is applied if the crew believe there is damage or after an engine relight in flight is unsuccessful and refer to the pro abnormal engine 1 or 2 shutdown in the QRH. If no damage is suspected, a relight may be considered for an attempt engine relight refer to the QRH. An engine relight should only be considered after completion of cam actions. Navigate. The MCDO data nearest airport can be used to select a diversion airfield. The A320 can auto land in Cat 3A weather conditions with one engine in operative. FMGS gives predictions on flight plan page when an engine out is detected down to the primary destination. Caution pressing the engine out clear restores the two engine predictions and further engine predictions are lost for the remainder of the flight. Fuel consideration. The crew should consider opening the fuel crossfit if they are sure that there's no leak or contamination. Carefully monitor the imbalance or possible leakage during crossfit operations. If the nearest suitable airfield is a considerable distance away, the in-cruise quick check long-range table one engine out in the QRH Perf L can be used to determine the fuel consumption and time. And that's it. Do destroy the like button, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll see you in the next video.